Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we are going to answer this exam question. Hopefully you can see, which is a uh, standard deviation. So in this, uh, in this video, we'll just answer question uh, A using two different methods on how you can find standard deviation. And thereafter, you can make your own decision which method you want to be to be using, okay? So let me start with uh, the first method. So the first method here will require you to check the, the formula, okay? So let me do this. Once you check the formula, you come up with a, with a table. Very important, okay? So this is a table I'm coming up with. So now on our table, how many rows are we supposed to, to have? So for the rows, it will depend with uh, the frequency. So we've got uh, six. You can see on the given table, the number of columns, the rows must be equivalent to the number of columns on the actual question. And there are how many columns? There are six columns where there are numbers of frequency. So starting with the two up to the last two there. So we come up with those. Okay, it should look good because it's an exam. When writing your table, you write it very, very well, okay? You can use the ruler, very important to use the ruler. So this is what I'm doing right here. So how many rows do we have here? Let me count. One, two, three, four. There are four. And what you need to know is that uh, they're supposed to be six, okay? So there are six of uh, these, okay? So they are supposed to be six, including uh, one more. So six, seven for the titles, okay? So now you can cut this side like this, okay? Don't mind my my drawing, but should be straight. Your drawing must be, make sure that it's uh, straight. So the first column here, what is it that's supposed to be in the first column? It's the frequency, okay? F. And for the frequency, we've got a 2, we've got uh, 6, we've got uh, 9, we've got uh, 7, 4, and uh, a 2. That's our frequency. So the next column, what must be there, it's the, the x. So let me show you. Let's see what we're getting. So here, you must see put x after f you put x and this x is representing the midpoint so for the midpoint we've got a 5 we've got a 15 we've got a 25 we've got a 35 we've got 45 and 55 so now maybe the question may be where is this x coming from let's check the table so if you're able to see nicely on the table here on top, okay, just check nicely on the table that we've been given in the question, where it says age, yes, there is 0 to 10. 0 is less than x, less or equal to 10. So that's a class interval. You get the first number 0 plus, the last number 10, so it will be 0 plus 10, which will give us a a 10 divided by 2, it will give us a 15. 10 plus 20, it's 30 divided by 2, 15, and so on and so forth. So this is how you get to find uh, the midpoint. And then you come up with uh, the next column. For this one, you say fx. So multiplication of f and x. f and x. So we're going to multiply these two. When you multiply 2 times uh, 5, we are getting a 10. And then five, uh, 6 times uh, 15, we're getting a 90. Here, 9 times 25, we're getting a 2, uh, 225, 225. 7 times 35, we're getting a 245, 245. 4 times 45, we're getting a 180. 180 and then 2 times 55 we're getting a 110 so that's how you do for the next one and then the next column 
uh, and uh, remember this, this is very important. On the first one, you're supposed to write this sign. So this is summation over F. So summation of F, it means add these numbers in this column. We're getting a 30. When we add 2 plus 6 plus 9 plus 7 plus 4 plus a 2, we're getting a 30. For this, leave it, come to this. You also do the same for this one. So when you add all these, we're getting 80, 860. You see, you add this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, you're getting this. For this also, you're getting uh, that. Next, you, you make this. And for this one, you call it uh, X bar. Hopefully, you're going to remember. And when we say X bar, we are talking about uh, the mean. That's the mean. So for you to find this, what you're supposed to, to put here, you are simply going to say F, F of X over uh f of x uh f summation of f of x over summation of f so this is what we are getting it's a x bar which is the mean meaning you're going to get this one that's why we added this we want to come and use it here and uh this one over 30 and when we divide we are getting a 20 uh, 28 point seven Okay, I've put, I've written it in uh, in uh, three significant figures, but it's twenty eight point six 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 and a seven. So I've put it in uh, three significant figures, and this is a mean. And when you get this mean, you write it here. It's the same thing repeatedly. So twenty eight point seven, 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 twenty eight point seven. That's the mean. So we've gotten the mean. The next thing that you're going to do, remember, there are more things when you're using a table to remember. The next thing that you're going to get here, it's a x minus x bar. x minus x bar. Meaning get this minus this. So whatever is here minus this, you write here. That will be 5 minus 28.7. We're getting a negative uh, 23.7 for 15 minus uh, 28.7. It's giving us a negative 13.7 for this one, 25 minus 28.7. We're getting a negative 3.7 for this one, 35 minus 28.7. We're getting a 6.3. For this one, we're getting a 16.3. This and this, we're getting a 26.3. That's it. So now, once you do this, you come for the next one. So for the next one, we want to write x minus x bar squared power 2. So what it means, it means uh, get this squared. So negative, negative uh, 23.7 squared, it's giving us a 5, 6, 1.69. For this one, negative 13.7 squared. Remember to put them inside the brackets. So when you're punching this, you see these brackets. Don't forget them. So you put the brackets and then you come and put a power 2. That's when you're getting the value. If you don't put the brackets, you get a negative answer here, and we don't want that negative answer. So this is giving us 80. Uh, did, did we get that? Yeah, this one is giving us uh, 187.69. Well, this one squared, it's giving us a 13.69. This one squared, it's giving us a, a 39 point. Uh, six nine this one squared it's uh, of course giving us uh, a a 265.69 this one squared which is a 26.3 squared it's giving us a 691.69 so that's it we again go to the next which is the last column here so this one 
we shall say f over x minus x bar squared. So we want this, you see, times the frequency. That's what it means. So you'll be getting whatever is here times what is uh, in the first here. It's giving us uh, a 1,123.38. We multiply this times this. We are simply getting a 1,126.14. And then 13 times a 9. So don't make a mistake. This one is giving us a 1. Uh, 123.21 again 39.69 times a, a 7 here it's giving us a two, uh, 277.83 for this and this we're getting a 1062.76 this and this we're getting a 1383.38 3 so that's what we have okay and uh, you leave this, we don't need this. So this is uh, the table. We've come up with the table. Now let's check at the formula we're supposed to use. So the formula is what made us come up with all these. And actually before we use the formula, we can say summation over x minus x bar squared. So summation over all these. So you can see where I'm doing the summations. It's at first here at third and last so summation here when we add everything we're going to get a 5096.7 this is what we're getting and then we get the formula so standard deviation is equal to the summation okay this is the formula we're using uh i mean uh, summation square root of the summation of f x minus x bar squared over summation of f and then we close so this is the formula we're using and you can see this is what is here and this is what is here so we can uh, plug in our formula we've got five thousand nine hundred and nine five thousand ninety six point seven over a 30 and when we punch over 30 there it's giving us a a 13.0341 this is the answer we are getting right here when we use the table method thank you please watch the next video where i'll show you on how to use a non-table method this has been sichamba jacob and bye bye